The merge command in the editing group allows you to stitch multiple surfaces together to form a single quilt. And often that's necessary before you perform an operation like thicken or solidify. You'll notice that right now the merge command is grayed out because most of the commands in the editing group are object action. In other words, you have to select an object before the command becomes available. And so I have a model here with a number of different surfaces. I'm going to change my selection filter from the default geometry to quilt. Let's close the message. And you'll notice when I hover my mouse over the model, I have numerous independent surfaces here or quilts that aren't stitched together. So I want to stitch them together. First off, let's zoom in over here. And I've got a few surfaces for this canopy and they share common borders. Because of that, I can select more than one surface. Let's select the other one on the side here. And with these three surfaces selected from the mini toolbar, I can choose the merge command. You also notice in the ribbon, the merge command is available now. I'll click on it. And in the ribbon, we can see from the references, the three quilts are listed in here. The options tab is grayed out because I selected multiple surfaces that share common boundaries. So the only option available is to join them. So I don't even have the ability to go in there. And in the list here, the surfaces are selected in the order I picked them. Sometimes it becomes necessary to reorder them. So for example, you might want to move different surfaces up or down in the list. And when I have them in the order that I want, then I will hit the check mark. Now the selection filter is still set to quilt. When I pick here, I have all three of those stitch surfaces together as a single unit. Let's take a look at a, another example. I'll select this surface over here and hold down the control key and select the main body of the fuselage. And again, from the mini toolbar, I can choose the merge command or you can choose it from the ribbon. If I go to the options tab, here's where you can see where you can choose between intersect and join. But I can't join them in this situation. I really want to, you'll notice that the references tab even goes red when I do that. Let's choose intersect. And you have a preview on the computer screen of which portions of the surface are going to end up being retained. You'll also notice that we have some arrows that we can use for flipping. And there are also arrows that do the same thing on the ribbon. So what I really want is the outside here that is good. And let's try flipping this arrow as well. And there you can see with the preview dots, sometimes I find going to a no hidden line mode sometimes helps you better understand which portions of the surface are going to be retained. And then we can hit the check mark. Let's go back to shading with edges. And when I select the quilt, all of these are the same uh, body together. And then I can hold down the control key and select the other quilts over here and use the merge command and hit the check mark. And now I have all those main surfaces for the body of my aircraft together as a single unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolwindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.